All right, so on our half guard little tiny series here, a little snippet, um, we're still talking about attacking the, the leg in between. <clears throat> but this time, the last time we talked about, it was too late to be wizard. This time, Brett hits a wizard on me almost right away. <clears throat> so we'll start again, half guard knee shield. I close my distance and I come up. How much do I get wizard right now? This could be a little bit of a problem. Brett hits a wizard on me right now. He's trying to, yeah, he's, he's doing really well with it. Where can I go? Well, the answer is he has no post to that side is one answer. There's more than one answer, but he has no post to that side. So I have to trap his wizard, his wizard arms. As I'm in here and he's wizarding me, I'm gonna bite down with my armpit or I can just come through and grab. See what I did here? I grabbed his wrist, just make a C, and I just kind of followed his arm. He wizarded me, cool, I followed his arm. I can either grab the material or grab his wrist. Either of them work. So I'm in here, Brent wizard. I get his arm and now I'm gonna go ahead and fall back, but I'm falling back towards my back left side. I'm here, one, two, because there's no post. Now I block his leg so he can't re-close a half guard on me. I simply step out, keeping my head pressure low. I still have his wizard arm and I set up in the side control. Guess what I still have? His wizard arm. What can I do with that? Brett, can you turn back into me? No, he can't. He's stuck. I can go from here to his Hilly Kimura variation or wrist lock from that version where I'm at, boom, right there. Okay, so if he wants to wizard me from there, he can. However, he's gonna get swept. He may even get Kimura out of it, all right? So again, I'm here. We're talking about a version today of half guard specifically where I'm diving through and attacking the leg that's caught in between my legs and I'm going under his butt cheek. So I'm here, I slide up. One, Brett Wizards, cool. I stab it, I grab the laser somehow. I go to fall back, roll my back into the side, to the side, here we go, and I'm over. Grabbing his leg, my head stays low. I still have his wizard caught. I still have his wrist, and I'm here. Now I'm gonna step out, and as I step out, I'm gonna pressure his leg far away from me to kind of open up this spot in his lower back. Here. Now if you can focus the camera down here towards my hand, my left hand, I still have it. I come through here, and I grip because he cannot turn into me now. He can't turn away, he's stuck. From this position, I usually like to work on top of his head. One, two, and here we are. And now he's stuck for a nice wrist lock. You like that, Brett? Wrist lock, oh, <laughs> right there. Or you can turn it here. Or you can even keep it nice and tight to your chest, keep this chain grip, swim through, and go the other version, right here. Both of those work just great. Um, let's start here again. Kind of how he had me wizard. I'm right there and I'm gripping. As I press his leg to the side, that opens up the small of his back. I kind of set him up, pressuring in. Now just grab and turn. He's stuck. I'll go ahead and step over his face again. But I can hit this here. I can hit wrist lock. I can open up here. Or if I keep this tight, I can just go right through and go more traditional and pop this direction. Sorry about the knee in the head. <laughs>